Hello friends, I am Pratima. I welcome you all to my channel. I thank all the subscribers for supporting. So in this GeoGebra tutorial, today I have taken the advanced version of classical GeoGebra that is GeoGebra calculator suit. It is advanced version and it is user, user friendly. So many tools are given and shortcut tools are given so that no need of uh, clicking so or by going so many clicks so here it is you can work online by using the sign in here you can uh, sign in to this uh, website GeoGebra and you can assign the if you are making the page for assignment for the students of your uh, Google Classroom you can do or any classroom you can assign you can click there or you can share with others so so many tools are there and when you are working online these all these these will work but you can also download it you can work offline so I, as I am doing so next what we will learn today that is the most important thing we will learn how to give different colors or dynamic colors to a point and it's trash its path so that it will make a curve so for this you know that if I'll mark a point P equals to 3 comma 4 that means this x axis x y coordinate is 3 and y coordinate is 4 then this is giving a point here so this point you can move on the screen you know and it will show the coordinates so that this can be used as an assignment to the students what point is this or this but i'm not going to that one because today my target is different so here i'll make a variable point instead of three and four so for this i'll write the variable value p P equals to the variable values are capital A comma capital B that means it is not marking any value because AB values are not sure so once I press enter see immediately it is showing two slider to me the value is negative 5 to positive 5 you can change the value if you like this is negative value to positive value and the point here showing that one comma one so you will put on this is for animation if that means a slider is changing the values so see it is going from positive five and to negative five or again from negative five to positive five okay now let's check your B. So uh, immediately you must be understanding that I am stopping it and I am clicking this one. It is changing your Y value. Okay, so negative to positive. So I hope it is clear now. I am stopping it. And as I need the trash and I don't need the graphics, so I'll go to click here this is the setting for the graphics uncheck the show axis axis will go uncheck the show grid and click on no grid so this point is here what is next next i'll trash this point so trash means i'll make its path so for this i'll here it will go so object so trash i'll click i'll check and this i'll check uncheck because i don't need the name of this point one part is over next is putting this into a dynamic colors so now also you can when you will move you see it's trash that means it is making the line i hope you have understood so it is going it is making a color that is black by default so it is 
trash the path means it is it will show how it is going so this point you can make thick and thin also you know how to make it we will go this uh, click on this settings point settings here this style you can make small or big you can make four it will be this one uh, slightly thinner see how it will be now it is thinner so this is the thing so next to make the color which is uh, we are interested today so for that i'll go to again click on the settings of this uh, point so basic was this is the point uh, and color it is dark gray it is showing if i'll check any other color it will show that same color but I am going to for advanced because I need something more interesting. So here it is RGB, C, uh, red, green, blue. These are the primary colors or dynamic colors. So it is the RGB. But I am not taking this one. If you click here, you will get SB and HSL. Let's click HSL. HSL means hue saturation and lightness so this saturation and lightness and also hue it is from 0 to 1 so lightness if i take 1 it will be very light it cannot be shown so i am taking it will be 0 0.5 and this for saturation saturation means how, uh, how deep the color is so here you can take 1 and about what is hue hue is means that is the variable gives the color it depends on the coordinates of a and b so less the value it will give different different color so what i am doing it depends on the color uh, color value so i am taking this a plus b minus 5 divided by 10 You can type plus 5 divided by 10, you will show another pattern. So then I am closing it. See, it is already changes to green. Let's magic starts. So I will click on this. I will see how the, it is changing the colors. So you can draw a figure. You can draw a design. You can draw butterfly, you can draw um, rainbow. So if you will go slow, it will make you solid line. If you will go very fast, then you will get all the points. The trash will not be marked. So I think it is very interesting. Okay. And to see these things uh, become very nice, you can make this background color as your blue, uh, uh, your um, what? Black. Let us see. So I clicked on settings. I am showing again. I clicked on settings. The, uh, this again settings. Here you will see this your uh, axis grids and background color is white i am clicking on this color and taking the black one black okay and closing it okay it is not showing me because i have already previously drawn so if now i'll move it it will show the colors So if you are good in drawing, you can make nice drawings, butterflies and other things. Okay, this is one thing. And remember, e, the slider has the value of negative 5 to positive 5. And uh, B is also, Y coordinate is also negative 5 to ne positive 5. So you cannot go a larger area. 
it will be around this uh, origin but you can change it negative 10 to positive 10 or negative 8 to positive 8 so you will get a wider screen okay next next is i am using this slider to make something okay both i have clicked for animation just see what it is making is it a rectangle yes automatically it can make a rectangle now ask the students what should be this slider value or where should be kept when i'll start animation so that it will be a square it will be a parallelogram so on we can think so i i uh, this uh, now sliders are uh, algebra's uh, view is hidden so you can make it as a animation also thank you for watching